Good evening everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about penicillinase sensitive penicillins and penicillinase resistant penicillins. Starting off with the sensitive group, the medications are amoxicillin, ampicillin and aminopenicillin. You'll have to remember these medications. To use this group we often have to combine it with beta-lactamase inhibitors to prevent degradation by the bacteria. They're used as wide-spectrum antibiotics for many gram-positive and gram-negative infections. And remember these three points about amoxicillin. So it has the greatest oral bioavailability, it goes under hepatic enteric circulation, and it's excreted unchanged in urine. And for penicillinase resistant penicillins, we have dicloxacillin, nafcillin, and oxacillin. These medications have bulky R group in their molecule, which prevent beta-lactamase degradation. They're mainly used for staph infection, which are the most common infection overall, but they're not used for MRSA infection. Nafcillin and oxacillin are excreted in the bile, while dicloxacillin is excreted in urine. So remember that dicloxacillin is like diuresis, and everything else is excreted in bile. And here's a small quiz. So what are the anti-pseudomonal penicillins? And here are the answers. Alright guys, that's everything I've got. Hopefully I made this easier for you. Thanks a ton for watching and I'll see you guys later.